Mikozilla. Mikozilla. Hello, welcome back to my channel and another episode of items that I've acquired. If you've been on my channel for a minute, you may remember my Ash Nico unboxing video or possibly more recently my thrifting video. In both of those videos, I mentioned my love for collecting vinyl. And that really stems from being more of a collector and a music fan. You know, back in the day, I'd collect CDs, but those are kind of obsolete. After the era of the CD, I switched to digital downloads. My iTunes library was my life. And now now that we have streaming services like Spotify that has any song you really could want at the tip of your fingers, I still have the longing to collect music because music is something I'm very passionate about. So that's the point in time when I started collecting vinyl. This was it back in like maybe 2013. I've been collecting vinyls for quite a while. In my Ash Nico unboxing video, I did mention I want to do a vinyl tour of all the vinyls that I own. and I still do want to do that but I have probably over 200 vinyls so <laughs> that'll be quite the video and in the meantime I just thought that I'd share with you some of the recent vinyl purchases that I've made to kind of tide you over if you're here for vinyl stuff. <laughs> Several of these records I did get at record store day. Now for those of you who may not be vinyl collectors, record store day is something that happens every year where artists will release special vinyl drops just for record store day and the whole idea of it is that you have to actually go to a record store to get it and it's to support the local music scene across cities all over the place so i did get several of these oh my god hi I did get several of these at record store day but I'm gonna be saving those for the end and before that I'm just gonna show you guys like some of the vinyls that I've just casually purchased over the past couple months and we'll get right into it this cat I fucking swear such a clout chaser <clears throat> you better behave Missy no no why do you ignore me all day and all of a sudden now you want attention, huh? Why do you need attention now? Is it because I'm busy doing something else? You need to stop being cute and go lay down. She won't leave me alone, guys. What do I do? I can't be mean to my kitty. You're in the way. So we're gonna get right into it. This is one of my more recent purchases. It is Blink-182's greatest hits. So Blink-182, I've never been like the biggest fan, but they do have some bops and I thought this would just be a fun addition to the collection, especially because a lot of people really do love Blink-182. And instead of investing in like the discography, I thought uh, greatest hits would be a good addition. I've not opened this yet, so we can open this here together and see what kind of stuff is inside. This is the limited edition vinyl from Target and it is kind of like a dual fold so I'm just gonna open the whole thing here. Why am I so bad at opening plastic? Even my knife doesn't want to open this. We open this up here. Looks like we have some cool graphics along with what appears to be the lyrics to the songs. So that's pretty cool. This is a double LP so we'll take a look at here. This is an insert and it's got some thank yous from the band and like credits on the other side here. So that's pretty cool. I like to see what they include for the insert because there's always some cool like art that you wouldn't normally see. All right, this is dope you guys. Wow, this is the Blink-182 side A and B are this color and it's kind of like a marbly like blue it's a really really pretty color and I love that we'll put that back in here try to keep real good pair of my vinyls so they last longer we'll take a look at the other side here and this one whoa side C and D 
are this awesome green color and it's kind of like marbly like the other one but these colors are just so vibrant they're very pretty and i'm very excited to listen to this just an fyi we're not going to be playing any of these records in the video today just because i don't want to get copyright striked so don't ask me why we're not why I'm not playing these on the turntable. So I got this one at Target. It's Target exclusive. Target doesn't have a great vinyl section, but they always have some, you know, usually like the top current pop acts and some like classic throwbacks. I think I got my ABBA Gold record there and things like that. This next one I bought at Barnes and Noble of all places, which actually has a great vinyl section. And you know your boy loves the bookstore anyway, so I always take a peek in there. And I found something awesome. This is The Fame by Lady Gaga, which has been one of my favorite albums since it came out. Countless bops. We come in here. Again, we have some pretty images, lyrics. And these vinyls, I'm pretty sure, are just black, but we'll take a quick look here. Yeah, these vinyls are black, but they have this really cute, like, lightning bolt, Lady Gaga. This one's also a double LP. Even though I feel like they could have fit it on one LP, I don't know why they typically choose to do that. So, The Fame, amazing album. We love it, we stand. All right, this next one I also got at Target. This one is Ariana Grande Positions, her newest album, which I really love. It kind of is more of like an R&B vibe compared to her more pop-oriented music in the past. It's a little bit more laid back. It's very bedroomy, if you will. <laughs> and I love it. I do wish the 3435 remix featuring Doja Cat and Megan Thee Stallion was on here but that's not technically on the album what's cool about this record is it came with these really cute inserts so i believe when she released this album she had multiple different covers for it and the inserts are the alternate covers so here's one of them here's another one of them and they're just like really pr pretty pictures of ariana and then we get an additional insert that has the lyrics and some extra images of her. I really like these ones where she's wearing the headphones are super cute. And this vinyl is really cool too. This vinyl is really cool. It's actually glow in the dark, which I really love. I think this is my only glow in the dark vinyl, which is pretty cool. I haven't tested it for it to glow. It's usually, you know, obviously in the sleeve. So I don't know how much light it's taking in to actually glow, but I'll take their word for it. <laughs> All right, the next one I bought, I can't remember if I got this through Amazon or if it was directly through Glass Animals website, but I mean, spoiler alert, Glass Animals, Dreamland. <laughs> I really love this album and I don't know why it took me so long to get. I have all three of their albums on vinyl. This was the most recent, obviously. It has this really, really cool dust sleeve. It's kind of got like an 80s, 90s retro vibe to it. The vinyl itself is just standard black, but it's got his like heads in the center there, <laughs> which I think is pretty cute. We got some inserts. This is actually a folding insert. So there's the glass animals. And on this side, we have all the lyrics. So it's our little lyrics insert, which we love. We stand glass animals, obviously. Oh, and look at this, the sound of vinyl. So I get a free digital download of Dreamland as well, which I love when albums come with this. I miss having an iPod in like my iTunes library because I mean, there's not much point of digital download <laughs> anymore, but for on the go purposes. Another vinyl that I've gotten recently is one of my favorites already. And it is the Queen Herbie Essentials vinyl. 
Queen Herbie, if you don't know, is an independent singer and rapstress. She just released her debut album, but prior to that, she had nine EPs, and each of them had about four songs on it. This collection, The Essentials, takes some of the more popular songs from her EP era into one collection. So it has Saturday in the 90s, Wifey, Buster Rhymes, Alone, Mint, BDE, Vitamins, New Bitch, Cheap Talk, Gucci, Beautiful, Check, Nintendo, and Holiday, which is such a powerful collection of songs. She is such a powerful, inspiring woman. I highly recommend listening to her debut album. It is called A Woman, and it's incredible. One of my favorite things about this vinyl is the actual vinyl itself. <laughs> so one of my favorite Queen Herbie songs is Vitamins. Working out, sleeping in, taking vitamins. Not only is Vitamins on this mix, the entire design of this is after a prescription bottle. It has that kind of like opaque orange and it says RX Queenland Pharmacy, take daily for clear skin. And the other side says may cause feelings of world domination. So this is a really fun, it sounds amazing on vinyl too. So Queen Herbie, I love you. She actually, so I posted this on my personal Instagram, a picture of it and she commented, I love you. And I was like literally crying. I'm obsessed with Queen. I'm so happy to see her slaying everyone. <laughs> so now we're getting into the records that I got on Record Store Day 2021. And I'll just tell you, in Rochester, New York, where I live, we have this amazing record shop, which is called The Record Archive. And they do a huge event every year for Record Store Day. I went this year, obviously, and it was the most successful record store day. If you don't know how record store day works, there's obviously like planned releases. So a lot of the time you'll know kind of what you're looking for before you even go to the record store. And this is the first time that I found everything that I was looking for and then some because I found some really cool things I didn't know were happening. So we'll go ahead and get right into this. The first one here, this is the Glitch Mob, their album. It's called Drink the Sea. And it's a very special edition because it also has an entire ambient version of the album, which is remixed by a group called Superposition. So it's the same songs, just they're all an ambient version. I'm really, really excited to listen to this. It's got some of the coolest like artwork on here. And I haven't opened this yet, obviously, so we'll open it here together. Bear with me. Oh, it's packaged as a unit, but it's actually two records. I gotta see now. Wow, okay. So plot twist, there's two separate. So this is the Glitch Mob Drink the Sea, which we'll just pop this open. Wow, you guys, this is so stunning. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Again, it's kind of like a marbly design. The stunning blue, I'm obsessed. And then this one looks like it's, yeah, it's the same color for both LPs. A double LP inside this first one here. And then we have the Drink the Sea ambient version, full album reinterpreted by Superposition which is this right here. And I'm so excited to listen to these and compare and contrast. I do kind of wish it was all like one unit, but I'll just store them together so they don't get separated. That's really cool. Ooh, I didn't look at this vinyl. Ooh, pretty. This is on clear vinyl, the ambient version, and can't wait to give this a spin. That's gonna be really fun. Okay, moving on. My next record store day purchase was the Sublime Meets Scientist and Mad Professor in LBC. And this has like a really, really fun cover art to it. I really love it. And this is basically different dub mix. So round one, which has like side one, is scientist dubs of Caress Me Down, Garden Grove, and Santa Ria. Round two is the Mad Professor dubs featuring Hong Kong Fui subliminal dub. April 29th, 1992, Miami dub, and Pawn Shop dub. So this is gonna be really fun. These are special, brand new dub mixes from the icons, the legends, Sublime. We'll go ahead and open this up. Wow, this is so cool. 
So we have some closer ups of the artwork on the little insert here. And on the back, wow, this looks like it's a history of like dub. It's got a little like forward about dub. This is so cool. This was a really special find, I think. I just love Sublime. Sublime was the first cover I ever did on my channel was Garden Grove. Wow, okay. So we have this like yellowy orange vinyl. It's thick, feels sturdy. I love it. It's really pretty. It's got some cool artwork. Whoever put this vinyl together did a great job. Okay, next up on my list, this is the one I'm most excited to open and go through because I know there's a lot of special extras in here. This is Lady Gaga's Chromatica. Yes, Record Store Day exclusive drop. So I do already own a copy of Chromatica. This was the original, like, clear release and honestly like the sound quality wasn't really that great maybe somebody can explain to me why these things happen but like sometimes i feel especially on like pop albums that when you listen to it back on the record player the speed and the pitch will be like slightly faster and slightly higher than the recorded versions we're used to hearing so that's what really prompted me to like want to get a better like more sturdy copy of of it so hopefully they can resolve some of those sound issues this is the special record store day release which includes translucent yellow vinyl a 28 page lp book collectible zine never before seen gaga images and artwork so i'm really really hype about this we're gonna go ahead and open it up wow so i never really got to take a good look at this cover until i actually bought it and like notice how intricate the album cover is this is definitely like right up there with the cover of art pop for me like it's very intricate and beautiful and i love it oh my god i'm getting a little bit emotional oh holy shit wow so you just open it up and the first thing you see is it's a sign which is obviously a reference to sign from above and then oh wow so we'll open it up more holy crap this is crazy crazy cool. I don't even know where to start. I'm like nervous. Okay, let's start over here. Hey, this must be the zine. It's got like a newspapery feel to it. And wow, there's all kinds of chromatica images in here. Oh, these are so cool. This is just amazing. Wow, this is so cool. I'm literally gonna look at this every time that I listen to this album because these are so interesting. All right, I'll read you guys a little excerpt from the zine here. There's actually a map of Chromatica in here. That's fucking lit. Okay. It is said that Chromatica derives all of its energy from Mother's Peak, a once active volcano with mystical pink magma goo. Legend has it that the spiritually evolved slash non-binary are the ones capable of stabilizing the core and thus have resided at the peak foothills of Mother's Peak in order to maintain the balance of Chromatica for many generations. And we see the different tribes are all different colors. Desert of Kindness, Alice Bay, Enigma Forest, Babylon. Babylon is the result of beauty emerging from tragedy. Thousands of years ago when Mother's Peak erupted, the discharge mixed with the salt water from the bay and turned Babylon into a glazed jade-like ruin. Compassion Hills. The capital is comprised of four loops following the contours of the Sine River. Oh my god, this is like amazing. I'm such a, a Gaga nerd, like this is a really, really fucking cool. Can dance music heal? In Chromatica, no one thing is greater than the other. This zine is incredible. I love that so much. Okay, we're moving on. We have to move on. Yes. So we have our dust sleeve here, very aesthetic. This whole package is very aesthetic. And here we are, the special Record Store Day exclusive vinyl color. It's yellow. It's beautiful. I am so excited to listen to this. This might be one of my favorite albums that I own. 
Oh, wow. Wow, okay, so this is our photo book slash lyrics, maybe? Oh, wow, this is incredible. I'm definitely gonna have to like take a video of me just scrolling through this. Wow. Yep, and here are the lyrics. Just incredible. The zine and the photo book, amazing additions to this. All right, we are at the end here. The last record I got at Record Store Day is the Soft Bulletin Companion by The Flaming Lips. And this is bonus music and songs by The Flaming Lips that were, I guess, created around the same time as The Soft Bulletin. I've had this one for a while, but it's one of their most critically acclaimed albums. And this is the kind of companion album to that. I'm really excited to kind of like compare. So we'll take a look here. Let's see. Yeah, so this has some like early mixes from The Soft Bulletin album some b-sides that got cut from the album and i think it's gonna be really fun the flaming lips always does a record store day drop so i always try to get it every year because they're so prolific they have so many albums it's just they're incredible see what's in here hey we have another double lp situation going on oh wow these are like gunmetal color, like duct tape. I've never seen a vinyl this color before. I mean, vinyl can be any color, but this is really cool and I'm super excited. Looks like they're both, yeah, they're both the same color, which this is just really cool. And like as a Flaming Lips fan, I'm excited about this. <laughs> So there you have it, you guys. That is vinyl that I've purchased recently. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you collect vinyl and what your favorites are. Also, let me know if you'd like to see a full vinyl tour at some point. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, subscribe to my channel down below. It helps me out a lot. You can also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload so you never miss one of my videos again. If you really like me and you want to follow me outside of YouTube, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, all at MikoZilla. That's about it for today, you guys. I have to go start working on my debut album. See you next time. Excuse me. I am trying to film. I am trying to film.